a structure made entirely of snow. But even though it's made of snow and it's minus 50 degrees Celsius outside, how is it warm inside? And how can we light a fire without melting the snow walls? Stay with me until the end. The igloo, or the snow house, is a small shelter made entirely of compacted snow blocks. It is used by the inhabitants of polar regions, such as the Inuit people, or Eskimos, in extremely cold environments. Despite being made of snow, the igloo is surprisingly warm inside. How does it work? How can snow, which you feel freezing to the touch, become a source of warmth? Here's the secret. Not all snow is the same. The snow used to build the igloo isn't just solid ice or loose powder. It's a special type of snow called pressure snow, which is dense and filled with tiny air pockets. These pockets act as insulators, allowing cold air to pass through very slowly. This cold air enters the snow, but gradually, meaning it reaches the inner layers of snow wall at a very slow pace. Then this cold air meets the internal warmth, and this way the igloo remains warm. Inside the igloo, temperatures can rise to a comfortable 15 to 20 degrees Celsius, while the outside world remains freezing cold. Now, here's the part that surprises everyone. You can light a fire inside the igloo. Yes, fire. But doesn't that melt the snow? The surprising answer is no. The fire is used very carefully, often with fuel like seal blubber or small oil lamps, providing just enough warmth without damaging the walls. Even if the inner wall absorbs some heat and melts slightly, it refreezes due to the cold air present in the walls, which slowly seeps to the inner layer and freezes it again after it melts from the fire. The combination of snow, the cold external air, and the internal warmth from the fire all work together to keep the igloo warm without causing the snow walls to collapse, eventually becoming a solid layer of ice. This strengthens the structure and improves its thermal insulation, making the igloo more efficient. The igloo's dome shape plays a crucial role. As the warm air rises, the smoke escapes through a small opening at the top, helping maintain the air quality inside the igloo. Thank you to everyone who completed the video with me until the end. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this topic. Thank you all.